So I spent a lot of time talking with HP. So you were out in Barcelona, right? Uh, and I think you got to see their uh, their new their pods. Yeah, in fact, we went inside a pod. It was very cool. Yeah. Uh, we went in early in the morning the night we were supposed the morning we were supposed to fly out and so they had to power it up right and it takes like i don't know five seven minutes to power it up and when it powers up the fans come on in a big way and right. we're standing there and whoosh, so you're inside this did you see one did they have one there no they, they didn't have one there yeah so imagine you're inside you know a, tra a trailer almost like a, 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 a an airstream you right. know like a camper yep but 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 narrower it feels narrow it's probably wider in total but it feels narrow because it's all servers and you know, power and cooling in there, and uh, and just racked and stacked servers and storage. Okay. So yeah, so they were talking up the the pod work. Yeah, definitely. So I got to speak with their their vice president of converged infrastructure, and uh, it's Doug. I think it's Ote Hote uh, is is his, uh, his last name, uh, and he was talking to me a little bit about pods, and he was also talking to me about uh, kind of a future project that they've got coming called the HP Garage. Um, what was interesting is they just got a $7.3 million grant from the Department of Energy. And if you think about how the pod is kind of like a whole trailer that you can create a whole data center, the garage is a smaller version of that that you'd be able to plop inside an existing data center. Um, and uh, you think about where we're going with power and cooling. It's going to use water cooling, and it's going to use DC power on the inside and be able to do about four to eight racks inside a data center, self-contained, uh, much better efficiencies on the power and the cooling. Uh, and, and as we know, that's one of the biggest uh, challenges uh, in, in data centers today is uh, keeping those costs for power and cooling uh, down. Yeah, so the cool thing about the pod that I saw was they, it basically, you order it, they right. announce this pod works. Now they say you can have one in as little as six weeks, but if you and I called up, we wouldn't have one in six weeks. It's gotta be in their pipeline. And I know they've got a couple that went out to Microsoft and they probably planned for it. And once they plan for it and it's in the pipeline and they're gonna have all the parts and the equipment, then they can do it in six weeks or you know six to 12 weeks, let's say. Right. Um, but the cool thing about the pod that I recall was that it has a PUE out of the box of 1.2. Yeah. Now the average data center is probably between, a PUE of probably between two and three. And what we mean is that normally, um, data centers, they power the IT equipment, and so for every watt you use to power the IT equipment, you need additional watts to, to power the power and the cooling, right. the power distribution and the cooling, and the average data center is probably twice the IT equipment needs, maybe three times, and there's an HP saying it's only 20% additional power over the IT equipment to power these pods, which is very efficient. And I had a really interesting discussion talking about, you know, really where is the market for these pods? Because, you know, you've got, the, you know, the, the, the giant guys. I mean, the Googles out there, the Facebooks that have these just tremendously huge scalable data centers. Then you've got the service providers, and that's really where they think the pods are going to be going a lot. As well as they said, there's certain companies that are going to be able to use this type of, type of technology. It's what they call uh, almost IT as a weapon. Mm -hmm. So rather than IT as a service, as a weapon, so the companies that say, I want to be able to have massively scalable architectures, be able to provide these services, uh, and you know, even HP themselves are going to be a cloud provider the, using these kind of technologies.